Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. It's Saturday, and it's a petty fucking day for me, but I'm only gonna put this upload up just because I'm gonna be that fucking asshole. Um, hashtag adopted drunk, bruh. It's only YouTube. It's only YouTube, bruh. You know, it was only YouTube when you disrespected my grandson. It was only YouTube when you disrespected other people's babies. It was only YouTube when you do and say the fuck shit you do and say. So it should only be only YouTube now that you mad at Huggy. Hmm. What a surprise. It's only YouTube, though. Hashtag adopt drunk. I didn't know that there was a good way to call somebody a bitch. You said you're calling Angel a bitch, but you're not calling her a bitch in a bad way. Can you explain that? It's only YouTube. It's only YouTube. Hashtag adopt a drunk. That people called your mom. It's only YouTube. You hoe ass nigga. But I'm thinking it's not only YouTube, cause you petty as fuck. You just get up on here just for a reason to be petty, to over exaggerate, to make something so relevant in your little life that nobody else gives a fuck about. Myron, hashtag adopt the drunk, nobody gives a fuck about you. Okay, that's from the people that's coming into your chat now because it's convenient for them because you're speaking fuck shit for them. Within the next month or so, you'll be fuck speaking fuck shit against them. You're so predictable that everybody knows it. And you clearly sure, my bruh, is only YouTube when it comes to you. It's fuck you forever. But now you mad at Huggy. My question to you guys, to Huggy, Rick, all y'all, that he, he constantly disrespects. It's not just the women. You know, he's just petty like that. It's just anybody at the moment where he can click alive and try to make himself feel important. The only life he has is on this only YouTube. It's only YouTube, bruh. Lighten up. It's funny. Right? When people humiliate you. It's funny when people fuck with you, right? It should be. Because it's funny and it's only YouTube when you're doing it to somebody else. I never knew that being in jail or being a felon, serving multiple years in prison, made you a real nigga. I didn't know that it would take somebody, some people to go to jail to so-called straighten up. Well, you weren't scared straight, my nigga. You still an alcoholic. You still homeless. You still funky. You still dirty. You still a snitch. You still a rat. You constantly throw people under the motherfucking bus. Nigga, you didn't hear my upload yesterday? Well, I'm going to tag you in this one. Don't dance around me. Don't go at Huggy. I'm asking for the smoke with your bitch ass. I'm asking for it. But it can't be this weekend because huh, I'm spending time with my husband like I always do. You know, life outside, off, off, off of YouTube is a great thing. You know, it's great to have to be able to go out, spend time with family, and not just a bottle in the car. What, what is in your dumb brain or your alcoholic-induced mind that anything you say about anybody on here is worth anything? You're just as worthless as the shit that comes out of this shit bag, my home. It's a punk-ass nigga. And as I said, I will always fuck with you when I fucking feel like it until you, my nigga, the real nigga that you are, admit that now. Let's get you to admit some shit.
Did I come at you first? Did SJ deserve you to call him a motherfucker? Why don't you answer those questions, ho? Instead of standing up for your people, validating their lives because they validate yours. I'll stop fucking with you, whole ass nigga. Except I'm be the real G that you claim you are, as I know you're not, because you know what? It's only fucking YouTube. So don't get mad when a motherfucker wanna say some shit about you that's clearly the truth. You fuck nigga. I think everybody, though, y'all need to start putting names on motherfuckers. Stop with the subliminal shit. It's very childish. Say a nigga name. Hashtag adopt the drunk. Getting ready to go play me some golf. I hate fucking golf, but I promise my husband. So y'all have a great Saturday. Admiring this shit for you, nigga. Be a real nigga and apologize to my grandson and my daughter. I don't need one from you. But then again, nah, nigga, don't. But if it's just only YouTube, you wouldn't mind. You want motherfuckers to apologize for you about your moms. <laughs> then you owe some fucking apologies too. And not just to the motherfuckers over there that you fuck with at the moment. Have a great Saturday. Peace.